My name is Julie Miller. I'm a specialist endocrine surgeon, which means I specialize in tumors of the thyroid, parathyroid, and adrenal glands. And my private practice is based at Epworth Freemasons. Part of my practice includes removing tumors of the adrenal gland. For the first 10 years of my practice, we did the smaller adrenal tumors through laparoscopic surgery, which is uh, through the front of the abdomen. About four years ago, I heard about a new technique to be able to remove these tumors through the back. The benefit to the patient is the operation is faster, with less blood loss, less pain, and faster recovery. I learned the technique from the surgeon in Germany, Dr. Walsh, who developed it and was the first surgeon in Victoria to perform this operation called posterior retroperitoneoscopic adrenalectomy. We call it PRA for short. Adrenal tumors are actually quite common, but most of them are harmless. Many of them are found when a patient has a CAT scan or imaging for some totally unrelated reason. And if that's the case, our goal is to answer two questions. The first is, could it be cancer? And the second is, is it making too much of any of the adrenal hormones? And this is why we investigate both the function of the adrenal gland and examine what it looks like on the imaging. My name is Robbie and I'm 45 and I had a um, left adrenalectomy in uh, September 2014 at Epworth Freemason um, because of a pheochromocytoma, which is a, a rare tumor at the adrenal gland. During my um, appointment with, with Dr. Miller, she then took me through what the procedure would have been making it seem uh, seamless, even if obviously it, it, it is a major procedure, uh, that I felt confident myself that my life finally will, will improve after, after such a long time. My name is Philippa and I'm 34 years old. I was diagnosed with Cushing's disease and had a tumour removed with my left adrenal gland in December 2012. I was so lucky to be referred to Dr. Julie Miller, who performed keyhole surgery. At the time, I knew nothing about Cushing's disease and the treatments available, but since then I've discovered things could have been so much harder. She was really nice to talk to. For the first time in a long time, she didn't make me feel like a hypochondriac. She was really clear about what was going to happen and how it was going to happen. The benefit of removing adrenal tumours from the back is that the adrenal glands actually sit much closer to the back of the body than to the front of the body, so it's a much more direct approach. So to take it out from the front, we have to go around the spleen and around the pancreas and here in between the spleen and the kidney to reach this tumor. But when we go from the back, we just go straight over the top of the kidney here and are able to take the tumor out directly without encountering any other organs. So what we learned after changing from the anterior or front approach to the posterior or from the back approach is that patients have much less pain. We give all patients the opportunity to have narcotic or prescription pain pills whenever they need them. And what we found is that when we do the operation from the back, 55% of our patients took no prescription pain medicine at all after leaving the recovery room. Patients leave the hospital either on the same day of surgery or the next day, so the average length of stay is one night compared to two nights with laparoscopic surgery. One of the other benefits of PRA or approaching from the back is that the operation is much quicker. I still remember when I, I woke up and, and you know you're still or, or dizzy and numb and, and there was a nurse uh, next to me and, and I said so when is it starting and, and she said no it's over. Patients have given very good feedback. They have very little pain, they're keen to get out of the hospital either the same day or the day after surgery and most are back to work within a week. The hospital staff and the anaesthetists were fantastic and so reassuring and when I fight Finally, from surgery, it was as I hoped. I felt really good. I had to force myself to sit still because my scars seemed so small and I had to remind myself that I must have scars on the inside as well to heal. I feel like I had the chance to lead a normal life again and for that I am so grateful.